All right, so I don't know how long this is going to be. Um, hope you like that intro, just experimenting there. But, uh, you know, after my last one, I, I read a comment by Dow Jones, and I'm like, you know, what's up with this Kushida thing? You know, oh, and before I even really get into all that, you know, as I said up there on the comment, I'm like, man, thank you for calling out the whole thing about all elite wrestling, hoping that the, the bookers don't put themselves over the talent. You know, because I, I didn't feel like doing another one and then including that. I'm like, I could have put that in the first one, but he did that for me, and he did a good job. So instead of spoiling anything on the comment, you can look back at that video, uh, my thoughts on All Elite Wrestling, and see what he had to say. Um, now, going on this Kushida thing, when he when uh, Dow Jones said that he's leaving New Japan, I'm like, what? You know, I'm, I was like, why, why, why would that happen? And... When I hear stuff like that, I, I first think about what would, what would be the reason for someone to leave? And I remember Kushida not even being in decent matches. I mean, okay, granted. Now, Kushida had a good rise. Uh, I think it was 2016. They did the whole super baby face thing, showing his, you know, baby pictures and things like that. And giving him a push. And then, and then things went south. He got, <laughs> he got knocked out by um, uh, Hiromu. So I'm like, ah, that went that went bad. Then he had to build himself back up in New Japan's eyes as well as work out uh, any uh, mild concussions or, or uh, strains or sprains and whatnot and get back in contention. But then again, who knows, you know? But ultimately, he gets his belt. Yay! He got it, but... It's hard to remember when this, he did. Kushida hasn't had memorable matches, and it's not his fault. The booker of a promotion, since this is real life, a booker is able to say, "Look, go out there and have the best match you can, and we're going to place." Considering the fact that you have a title, you're going to defend your title later in the show. That's first and foremost, not the opening, not mid card, not in between those, but. That's where Ghetto has been pushing them. Right there, that mid-card status. You can't put title belts at mid-card. What's the point of it being a title? It's not important if it's like at the beginning where everyone's going to forget it. I mean, the you know, and opening matches are very important as it is. Considering the fact those are the matches that pretty much put the momentum of the event. And Kushida, I mean, he could be used for that, but then it's like, it delegitimizes him as a champion. So then, uh, when I looked it up online, it was like, okay, look, Dave Meltzer did his thing where he explained that Kushida was leaving because of how he was booked, and he wanted <laughs> he wanted to, he wanted to go heel and join Bullet Club. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I would have liked it. I would have loved it. I can see Kushida sporting that black and white. I can see him being a serious heel because he keeps teasing being a heel in all of his matches. He teases it. He wants it. And I'm like, what in the world? If your talent says I want to go heel, go heel. But here's the thing. He wanted to go heel and join Bullet Club, but he didn't get that. Instead, Ghetto and Switchblade J. White got that, along with Jado. Now, that's kind of messed up, but Kushida would have been a good addition. Since um, Leo Tonga, Tonga isn't there, that's kind of messed up. You know, I, I haven't checked up on him, but I was enjoying him. He's tall, you know, big dude, doing some things. But, man, Kushida, Bullet Club, oh, yes, yes. That was like, if anyone can remember it, that was like when Eric Young turned heel. Oh, Oh, that was smoother than butter, sweeter than nectar, man. That was amazing. Even Kevin Nash had to give him some props on air about that. Like, you swerved me. You did good, but there's going to be a receipt. I don't know how legitimate all of that was because that's the magic of pro wrestling. You don't know what was real and what wasn't. But in this, Kushida says uh, later in the interview that also, not just from him being booked, but you know, he had a good talk and stuff, and he wanted to see wrestling around the world. So obviously he wanted to go to Mexico, he wanted to, 
He said, I think this first step is going to go to WWE. And I'm like, man, if you want to waste your talent there, you know, go ahead. Because that's about all you're going to do. Look at what they did with Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm like, I saw his match against Bobby Roode. <laughs> boring. Boring. I mean, anyone can fake a knee injury to lose a match. <laughs> anyone can do that. But Kushida going to... I guess he'll be in NXT where they have to test him to see if he's good enough to be on the main show where every fan gets to talk about which brand is the best as if it's not part of the entire WWE company. <laughs> oh, man. So, Kushida, you know, I wish him luck. I do. Because that's what you need when you go to a place like WWE. Clearly, it's what you need in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Because in the fact of, of, I want you, where as Ghetto said, not Gado, <laughs> where Ghetto says you, he wanted him to stay in his place and stuff and stay a face and all this. The fans would get a little annoyed with him being a face. They weren't as excited for him. When the fans are not as excited for you being a face, that's when you make your heel turn. Because the fans are obviously in that stage of, you know what, we're either bored with you and we like to see something different or we're just used to it so we know what to expect. Either case means you need to change something. Now, if you got the fans that say we're used to it but we don't want to see a change, you know what, screw those fans. <laughs> screw those fans. We're used to it. We, we, we're used to this the way he's doing and the, the, the product and how the matches are going. We just don't want to see a change, but we're also kind of bored with it. You can't please those idiots. <laughs> you just can't. Then screw those. All right. Don't change, but I can't stand what you're doing. <laughs> uh uh. Kushida wants to see the world. Maybe he'll go to Mexico. He'll do really well in Mexico, but he'll be in a whole lot of three, uh, three man tag matches, that's for sure. And he'll probably do some tag team, but those singles matches in Mexico, the way I, I get tired of the, the multi tag matches. But at the same time, when I, I'm so used to it, when I see a singles match, I'm like, well, where's everybody else? So I'm part of those that, that, that fan group, but you know what I did? I just don't watch it. I just don't. You know, eventually I'll watch it if I get the time and whatnot. And just with, with now, now, all right, Cedric now has a better understanding. So it's like, okay, yeah. Now I can watch it with a full understanding of what's going on, especially with how hard their ring is. It's been a while since I've watched CMLL or AAA or anything like that. It's been a long time. And I've been meaning to watch um, Lucha Underground. I've been meaning to watch that. And um, John Nubai gave me a great link to watch Tiger Mask W. And I haven't even had a chance to look at that. I've been so either sleep sick or, or um, just really pretty much that, sleep or sick. But... I get, I'm going to try to get a chance to watch those episodes at some point. Um, now, Kushida, he, um, his final match will be against Tanahashi Hiroshi, you know, current International World Grand Prix Heavyweight Champion. And honestly, I, I really have noticed that in the past, that was seen as a dream match for some people. That doesn't make it a dream match because you want it that much. It's a dream match when almost your entire audience wants to see it and they've both risen to an epic level of stardom which Kushida has gotten to Tanahashi has I mean I, he's got his flame back because it was pretty much going out so right now that would be a great match and I really hope I really hope they do it the way I think it was with um, if I'm correct Liger and Chono uh, back in the day when it was junior champion versus heavyweight champion in a very special match. And I hope that it turns out to be an amazing match. I hope um, Kushida and Hiroshi have a great, awesome match. I know they could do a five-star if they wanted to. They could do it in their sleep. I don't know if Ghetto will allow it because once you hit them with a five-star, it makes others look kind of kind of bad. But you know what? Elevate your game. That's how I see it. This is real. And it's, this isn't the video game wrestling. This is real. Elevate your game. You know, be better. Don't copy. Be the better you. That's what they need to do with Kushida. I think part of him wants to do that, which is why he might want to go around the world. He might want to wrestle in, uh, for Singapore Pro Wrestling. He might want to wrestle for uh, Middle Kingdom Wrestling. He might want to wrestle 
way out there, uh, you know, well, out here in the USA, down there in Mexico, down there in Brazil. He might want to wrestle in Canada. So thinking about all those places, I hope Kushida well. I hope he does well. And maybe New Japan Pro Wrestling, maybe this will be part of a kick in the ass for them to actually do better by their talent, do better by the fans, do better for the company, and, and, and elevate their game instead of trying to elevate their pockets. This is Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary, CR Fire Pros, CR Fire Pro Road. Thank you for listening. Single leg takedown, Max, bashed off. Borealis is trying to survive. Get her to the top rope. Waiting on Borealis to get up. She's dizzy, diving close line to the back of the head. Borealis is down. She's up. Flying cross off broker. They're in the ropes, though. Break. They've got the two-on-one advantage. Tree of Max got out of the ring. Oh! Mina just chopped Give both up. of them down. That uh, rear naked choke and scissor lock. Pump the slam. Head head rock to Marriott. Fujiwara on bar. Max is outside the ring. Borealis needs to make a tag. Abdominal stretch. Cobra twist. Whichever you want to call it. She tagged in Tree of Mass. The one thing that that, that natural boy was trying to avoid. Here's her. That ain't a power bomb. Oh, big splash. Oh. One, two. two. Up and he kicks out. Luna kicks out. Shoot. Take down by Master. Roll over counter. Picks him up. Oh, save. She gets him again. She's trying. Rolling knee by counter. Luna's trying to get a breather. Luna's trying to get a breather. Mass shoot. Tree of Mass shoots him off the rope. Clothesline knocked down. Body press. Goes to the front of spin. And he kicks out. Luna survives. Take down by Master. Mounted strikes. Mounted full guard strikes. Luna collides in the Tree of Mass. They're down. Eight minutes left in this match. I don't think he's going to last that long. Trick me by Luna trying to buy himself some time. Tree of Mass is up. She's stalking. She finds him. Standing front power slam. Dives on him for the press. Pin. Lateral press. Two. Oh, two. I was the kick out. It was a kick off. I, I blinked. I blinked. He just said his problem. FTF by leader. Blink. Standing power slam. Hook the leg. Kick out. A double stretch on master. Show the hard break of our leader on the tree of mass. He's picked up by Master. Manhattan dropped. She's stunned. Leader circling. Could you want Middle of the ring. Could that be it? She hasn't been working on that much. We both bust the crab by Borealis. He's kicked off by Master. Belly belly suplex by tree of mass on the Master. Sends Leader to the rope. He bowls her over and climbs the top rope. What's he going for? Diving back elbow drop to, right to the center of the abdomen. He's going for the pit. No, he doesn't. He's up. She sends him to the corner. She's in there with him. Oh, my goodness. Turnbuckle running up the elbow. Stampede for the pin by himself. And they win. The winners of the match, Bully Allen and Tree of Mass. A stellar performance. Woo. <laughs>